Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. How's everyone doing? It's good to see everyone. Yeah, what's nice up? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Frida, it's good to see you. We chatted last year about season one. Yeah, that was so awesome. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Um, One of my favorite things, Sam, about this show, and we dive right back into it, is just how it looks. Like, it's incredible. You know what I mean? The scenery and everything. So what was that like for you returning to film and seeing everything after season one going for season two? Oh, it was, uh, yeah, no, it was fantastic. I mean, we hadn't seen season one come out yet. So we were actually shooting the end of season one and went straight into season two. But it was amazing to have that little break come back. And yeah, I mean, the aesthetic of the show is so brilliant. And like, we've got an amazing camera crew and the the island, island itself, the Wicklow Mountains provides such an incredible landscape for us to play in. Um, yeah. That it was really like... Like it takes a it takes a village, you know, in terms of like we're sometimes hiking like you know a good thirty <laughs> minutes to our location for the scene, and you know yeah. we're all carrying all sorts of gear up there. So yeah, it's it's a beautiful experience. Leo, it's officially like two uh, two seasons that people are going to see you playing this character. Do you still kind of learn things about this character, like episode to episode? Do you think like you have a grasp of this character? Because these are complex characters that like change their minds a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, well, what's useful for me is that there's there's a saga written all about Harold Hardrada, yes. and um, we this second season kind of follows that journey of of him becoming Harold Hardrada. And he's he's exiled from Scandinavia, um, injured in a in a battle, and he has to start again. And um, so I sort of knew where we were going, and I knew that we had to um, navigate some rapids and and avoid the passion eggs on the way to Constantinople. But um, yeah, there were some surprises along the way. In episode seven, <laughs> Harold's going to get tortured, and um, yeah, as I was flicking through that episode, I was quite sort of gobsmacked and jaw 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 to the floor realizing what Jeb had written for Harold to to go through so yeah it's a a, a wonderful part to play and I've, I've really enjoyed every minute of it it's there's it's just intense like all around and Frida you know last time we spoke you know Frida's go like the journey for season one is unbelievable same like an unbelievable journey and a lot of new things happen in season two without spoilers what is your favorite thing about Frida's journey in season two specifically I mean, I loved the arc for season one, and I was like, how can we how can we top this? What else can we do that we haven't explored? And of course, thanks to the genius of Jeb, you know, he finds Freitas in all of these incredible new situations. I mean, to explore motherhood through a character like Freitas was something that was so incredibly powerful. I mean, just for having somebody who has to rely on herself in every situation, she has to fight for herself, she needs her physicality, she, you know, she doesn't have a father to you know take care of her and yes. to be robbed of her you know biggest strength which is her physicality and her ability to defend herself I found myself in a very vulnerable position and that was a really interesting journey to to go through oh absolutely and you do such an amazing job I asked you this Frida last time we spoke but I want to ask Leo and Sam I mean we talked like I listened to a lot of metal music, Scandinavian death metal and everything. Did you guys listen to a lot of that to kind of prepare for a lot of the scenes at all? Or Sam, like, was, was Wolf, that? Wolf Totem? Yeah, but yeah. That, that's a, hum, it's, it's, Mongolian. It's, it's a Mongolian a band called The Who. You the know Who. about them? Have you heard? Yeah, yeah. 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 I that play was, that to you. That was my, like, that. psych up, psych up song. But as well, because I have a big fight in the second episode. I remember coming to work. And yeah, I had the psych up, Spotify psych up playlist on. And you know, you're raring to go when we start shooting at eight. But then actually, we didn't film the, the fight section of it until right at the end of the day. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd lost all my all my psych. Sam, I'll give you Sam, I'll give you some recommendations. You gotta get into like a Mon Marv, Corporal Klan, you gotta get into that. You're gonna get right in like the fight battle mode for sure. <laughs> I saw my friends at Alexandra Palace in London, Parkway Drive, the Australian heavy. Yes! They're amazing. I've seen them in concert many times. I'm a big metal guy. I love Parkway Drive. Absolutely. Yeah, well, the drummer's like one of my best mates. That's There's amazing. Actually... I have a photo with Winston at Vans Warped Tour from a long time ago. Yeah, and it's like something I always look Oh, so, so good. No, I can talk about this all, but, you know, season two, Vikings Valhalla, January 12th on Netflix. 
Thank you all so much for your time. It was so great chatting with you. Thanks, brother. Thank you Thanks. so much. Bye. Take Bye. care. Bye. Thanks. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.